Welcome to my new video, where we will turn a daylight image into a night view. This time we will use Affinity Photo 2 and you can download the images for this tutorial. Today we will work on a daylight image. I took this uh, image 2018. It's from Orange, the castle. The only uh, thing I added here is one of my lens flare from the sun. Original sun uh, images on the uh, 360s are uh, white dots. So if you like to give them a little bit more shiny, you can add one of my lens flares. So what we will first do is double uh, our layer. That's similar like in uh, Photoshop. Then I will add a uh, HSL filter to reduce the saturation. It was about 90, 35, minus 35 degrees in my last video. Something like that. You can also add the value here. And it's a non-destructive uh, filter, you can adapt it uh, later. So the next step is to add the, the famous uh, sky map. I will show you where you can find that. So Steep Star Maps 2020, they updated it in 2020. And you have uh, different possibilities to download uh, the images. The biggest uh, is 65,000 pixels. 3.8 gigabyte uh, TIFF uh, resolution. So I use this uh, sky map to add it on my 360s and I've already reduced it on JPEG in the same format as my 360 from the castle. So I will load uh, 28,000 star map i use them for the mavic 2 pro and now we have to adapt the resolution actually what i have here if we go on document size 300 uh, dp dots per inch dpi 80,000 uh, pixels so we have to do the same on the star map so i will change the resolution to 300 dpi and 80,000 pixels. Now we have the same resolution and I can now copy the layer and add it on this view here. There is something important for the alignment. So uh, make sure that you are centered with your image. You, you can do it uh, with centering the image. So it's very important that you are absolutely on the right center point like the other image. You can check that also with transparency. We use that uh, sky map then later to add our night view. That's the reason why I load it already now. And we will add a mask on this sky map. So let's add a mask. And on this mask, we will now change transparency to see our castle. At the beginning, I will make here a huge overlap so we can better choose our night color. And to add the night color, we need another layer, a pixel layer, and we will fill this pixel layer with the night color we choose on our sky map. So here you can see how we can choose our color from the sky. Not too dark. Something like that. 
and we will fill now our pixel layer with this color. Then we will multiply this layer and here we can see that we already did a night view. It's uh, a little bit too dark so we have to enlighten it. I go back on my night view choose something a little bit clearer and we add this on the pixel layer. So that's uh, much better. And now I will adapt the mask. To get it more like this. We can uh, still see the sun position here. On this sun position we will place a moon. I will add a moon. and place it onto the sun position. Here. And we have to add a lens flare. I will use a simple lens flare, you can use a yellow or a white. I choose the yellow one. Put it on the moon and give some transparency. That's much more realistic. Important to place the moon on the sun as we have all these shadows here. So you have also shadows on a full moon night, similar to a, a sunlight. And that's very important that you place the, the moon exactly on the same position where you have the sunlight. We can adapt at the end the real night uh, light here, it's a bit too shiny now, but we, if we go back on the filter, I can also change here to be more realistic at the end. But we will do that at uh, the end, not uh, now. It's uh, much more easier to, to work like that. I will rename my layers. It's important that you rename your layers as we had have at the end a lot of layers so that you can easily find what means each layer. Now we will zoom in. I have here some spots for the castle. So that's the first uh, point I do. We have also a spot here. So I will add here some lights for these uh, spots. I used the blue quarter cut uh, lens flare for this. And so we will add on each of this spot lens flares. I 
They have already a lot of lens flares. I will group them. I put them here. <clears throat> and now we will add on the night filter some clearance. We will use a brush. But for this reason we have to add a mask here. We have to adjust our size from the brush. We go about the hardness from 24% and only 12% for the transparency so that we can go slowly. And what we will do, we will just undone here the night view. So we will enlighten now from the spots. I choose uh, only 12% that we can go slowly on this one. I will adapt the night layer. It's a little bit too shiny, so you cannot see really the effect we have. So we can uh, directly go here and see the difference. If I take some spots here. It's much better to see the effect. If we work here indirectly, I take <coughs> back my brush. I will go a little bit higher here. So this is the trick to add light. We only give back the daylight. Now I will work on the windows. For this I need a new layer with a mask. And on this one I will change the color. So let's do something light yellow. Then we will fill this layer. We have to change the, the mask. So we name it yellow light. I push that on the top. And now we will start to select some windows. For this reason we go up to 100%. I will start with this one here. So we will choose lasso with polygonal. I forgot one thing, it's about one pixel we need. And <clears throat> we will add several of these windows. I will also add this one to show you a special effect. And now let's start to fill them with a yellow color. I will change this to 45%. We go on the layer We will fill that and then we will go on the night filter. We 
and change on the night filter also the light from these windows so you can see the effect it's much more realistic to do it on the night filter and on our yellow night for the yellow light you can always play with the intensity now to do it more realistic I will add another layer go back to my brush use uh, orange light something like that and add here something like a lamp inside <clears throat> this gives us much more realistic uh, windows lights but you can play with that we will use this layer later for other colors but you can see what we have already done so we have the spots on the castle and we have added some lights in the windows I will uh, rename this layer for spots in the next step I will add a white light I copy the yellow light layer and we have just to change the fill color and now I will start to add a white light we also change it on the night filter and so you can now play to add lights and we can always change between white light yellow light I will also add a more warm light so I'll copy this layer again I will choose uh, orange light we have just to unselect now the the window I will regroup the lights that gives us more order into the image so let's zoom in again <clears throat> and now it's up to you so we will work on other windows add other lens flares I will uh, begin with the street here that's a uh, very interesting to do also the street always uh, on light the night view so here we have some lights and I will add some lens flares into the spot uh, folder so you can place them onto these street lamps check with the night view and then the other important point we will enlighten the street as we did it here 
on this uh, tower. So we select the brush. Always go slowly with to a brush like this. Select the mask. So we get a preview here. And if we press, we delete this night view. That some things uh, who takes uh, its time to do all these spots, and then to delete on the night view with the brush. But that's exactly what it gives us this realistic uh, view of the night. So that gives us quite uh, an amazing view. And we did only work on this mask here to delete the night view. So we can play with the lights, with the spots. And on a view like this, if we work now on the windows, we have something to do. So that takes some time, but we have already the three lights. So we will select the windows and we will, we will give this town a little bit more light. For this we change back to 100%. We can unview the night view so we have better view on the, the windows. And now we have to select a lot of windows. That gives quite some work to do. One important point, what we can do on the night uh, mask. If we have a window, a big window like this one here, we can add a bit a little bit daylight around this uh, window so we select uh, the brush small one and we add some daylight around the window We do that only for, for big windows, for example here on this house. And on this too. That looks <clears throat> much more realistic if we do so. But this is something that it will take uh, your time. But it's really amazing what we can have as final result. Now I will show you another trick. If we have here villages in the background to add some, some lights, we only use dots on this layer here. So we can uh, choose different colors. We will start with a yellow one. And then we can add some lights here. Always change the, the colors of these lights. And we can even use blue lights. You can also change the size. So if we then go back, <clears throat> you can see here in the, the background we have a village with also some lights. That's much easier to add lights like that. But don't forget to add blue lights in the, the windows. A TV screen is always blue. That gives even more realistic uh, windows. Now I will check the final image. For this we have to reduce 
all the projection to one view. Then we can change to live projection. And we can check our image. So we have quite a good result. And we did a 360. We have also to check that we have no stars into the tower here. see it here so we have to add uh, some mask here that we have no stars in the in the tower but it's quite amazing what you can do with a daylight image I repeat we have uh, 100 ISO on this image so we have no noise and that's one of the biggest uh, advantage to do it like I showed you Thanks for watching, until the next time.